In this video, we will discuss the panorama window. The panorama window is an interface that can display many types of data. It is a floating dockable window or palette that you can keep open as you work. It can include several tables called vistas on different tabs. Panorama data shown in black text can be edited and data shown in gray text cannot be edited but is there as a useful way to view properties and settings of a specific type of data. To conserve screen space, if more than one Vista is active, the panorama window displays a tab for each one. To open the panorama window, navigate to the Home tab, Palettes panel, and then we have the panorama window. It's also called the Event Viewer. I recommend that you find a nice comfy spot for this, especially if you have two monitors, you may want to put it over to the left or the right in your other monitor. The reason being is that as you make edits, rebuild surfaces, and so on, the panorama window will always open up and it kind of gets annoying as it pops up in your view if you don't just already have it open. So let's look at how this is used. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. First, I'll go ahead and select an alignment. And then we'll go ahead and go to the geometry editor. And then in the alignment layout tools, I'll open up the alignment in a grid type view. When you click on that, although it looks like nothing happened, the panorama window opened up a vista called Alignment Entities. This allows me to go into the actual alignment properties and settings, and I can actually change this data in a tabular type way, a very convenient tabular type way, right? Let's look at another example. I'll go ahead and select my proposed profile and go to the Geometry Editor, and then click on the Profile Grid View. This too has now opened up a profile entities view and I can change many of the different vertical curves and tangents and so on based upon the PVI station, elevation, the grade in, the grade out. Again, a great way to make changes to objects in a tabular type way. Again, don't close this once you're done. Simply move your cursor away and make sure you have auto hide turned off and it'll stay open without becoming very obtrusive. To close any of the panels, a little checkbox will appear allowing you to close them. Also, if I close the alignment layout tools, these will disappear as well. Notice how the panorama window has disappeared.